episode of current affairs the top stories are indian railways is all set to run its second luxury double decker uday express between visakhapatnam and vijayawada to cater the busy route in the east coast railway zone however the date of the introduction of the train has not been announced yet rba has decided to extend the operating hours of RTGS and Cummins operations from 7 a.m. instead of 8 a.m. for customers and banks. The extended customer transition timing will be applicable from August 26. The government is planning to launch an e-commerce project called Bharat Cup for micro, small and medium enterprises. Previously, the government had launched the Udyog Mitra portal to ease the access to MSMEs financial and non-financial services Adela Handro has taken the oath as the new prime minister of Sudan the appointment came after the country embarked a 3 year transition to civilian rule India statue of unity in Gujarat and Soho house in Mumbai have been featured in the Times annual list of 100 greatest places in the world. The Time magazine compiled a list that are new and noteworthy destinations to experience. Global e-commerce giant Amazon opened the world's largest campus building in Hyderabad on August 21, 2019. The Hyderabad-based campus is the only Amazon-owned office outside the United States. Media giants Viacom and CBS to merge in latest mega deal. The new company will comprise brands like MTV, Comedy Central and Paramount Pictures. Former Union Minister Arun Jaitley passed away on 24th August 2019. He was 66 years old. He was undergoing treatment at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences for several weeks. Former WWE superstar and action movie hero Dwayne Johnson also known as The Rock topped the annual list of the world's highest paid actors in Forbes magazine the fourth biggest earner was bollywood actor akshay kumar Google and Kerala FC won the Durand Cup football tournament by beating Mohan Bagan in the final held at Salt Lake Stadium in Kolkata the score was 2-1 Gogolan Kerala FC creates history by becoming the second club from Kerala to win the crown after 22 years. Ace badminton PV Sindhu creates history by becoming the first Indian to win the World Badminton Championship. She defeated Japan's Nozomi Okuhara. The tournament had taken place in Basel, Switzerland. And that's all for now. This is your host Abraham signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe, like and share.